This is a new counterbalance forklift from uh, Manitou Australia. It's a MI25D. Manitou are best known for their um, uh, tally handlers, uh, rough terrain forklifts, uh, a lot of agricultural and construction uh, equipment. This is really the first foray into Australia into a uh, counterbalance industrial truck. And uh, this one, the D, stands for diesel. It's powered by a 2.3D Yanma um, engine. It's a fairly uh, no frills package. From behind the wheel, um, it's actually got really quite good visibility. Um, I've just had a little bit of a scoot around here with a tiny little pallet on, but um, it's pretty much 360 degree visibility, very little intrusion from the uh, overhead roll cage. Uh, another thing is the uh, all the control levers are pretty much the same height as the steering wheel, so it's fairly intuitive. If you've hopped off another brand of counterbalance forklift and hop onto this, there's very little difference. It's pretty much straight in, straight out. Um, the other, uh, the other good point is good entry and exit off both sides of the truck even though you probably meant to hop off the other side. It's good to know in an emergency you can jump out this side without uh, catching yourself on the control levers as well. One of the interesting things about uh, Manitou in Australia is that they have a, um, a, a, a quite a wide dealer representation. A lot of this uh, dealer representation as well as being in capital cities is actually in regional areas and uh, this truck rounds out a lot of the existing Manitou products because there's a, a, they have a very strong presence in agricultural and construction uh, and off-road and so this represents a, a sort of a, a, another augmentation of the existing um, lineup. So um, it's a fairly, uh, as I said before, it's a fairly no frills kind of thing. It's a very uh, basic but quite robust. So there's no electronic engine management system. It's a, a mechanical engine, torque converter, um, gearbox. Uh, at present it's uh, standard with side shift, tilt and lift. There is potential to add another uh, valve or two if you want uh, you know, things like drum clamps or other attachments and all that sort of thing. So it's still fairly early days yet. Um, so this is pretty much a, uh, it just adds on to the existing Manitou range.